Almost 50 years ago, tragedy struck in our area. 12 men were killed in Luzerne County in one of the worst mine collapses in our area's history. Tonight, family members remembered the victims of the Knox mine disaster. Newswatch 16's Peggy Lee talked with the relatives. She joins us live from our newsroom. Peggy. On January 22, 1959, a mine under, under the Susquehanna River in Jenkins Township collapsed under the weight of the water, and the mine flooded. Mike Beloga brought his family to Pittston Area High School so they could learn about the event that took his grandfather's life. On display, photos and facts about the Knox Mine disaster that killed 12 men, including John Beloga, almost 50 years ago. I want him to know, of course, uh, what, um, what actually, how he died and uh, the, the history behind the mining and how, uh, you know, they risked their lives for their families. On January 22, 1959, the Knox Mine in Port Griffith collapsed under the weight of the Susquehanna River. Water rushed in at 3 million gallons per minute, creating a whirlpool 230 feet long and 150 feet wide. Bill Hasty worked at the mine and says he'll never forget that day. I had not led a sheltered life, and I was shaken up a bit when I saw the, the water. It was violent, absolutely violent. This is the plan for a memorial that would go at the actual site of the break, with this lawn area representing the approximate size of the whirlpool. The plan also calls for memorials for each of the 12 men so killed, whose bodies were that. never found. The families of the 12 men have no place where they could memorialize their fathers. You don't want to forget history because you could learn a lot for the future from what happened in the past. Now this Sunday will be the annual memorial mass for the families of the miners. It will be held at St. John's Church in Pittston. Peggy Lee Newswatch 16 live in the newsroom. Peggy, thank you very much.